Pokemon isn't real, and many people would agree that that is true. But, what if there were real life Pokemon? Hello, and welcome back YouTubers to another episode of Pokemon Theories, the show where 9 out of 10 doctors agree Professor Oak isn't really a professor, and going to the gym doesn't mean pumping iron. Today's theory, are Pokemon in the real world? This theory was suggested by Giovanni's Got a Rockin' Body, and they asked, are there Pokemon exactly like animals in the real world? But Proto, Pokemon's just a game. But Proto, Pokemon aren't real. But Proto, Pokemon are based on real animals. That's right, comment section. Pokemon are based on real world animals. But some are more like real world animals than others. While I was researching, I came across many Pokemon that were similar and narrowed it down to several Pokemon. Caterpie, one of the first Pokemon encountered in the series is based off the Spice Bush Shadow Tail larva, a caterpillar that looks suspiciously like Caterpie. This larva has an appendage on its head mimicking a snake's tongue and eyes to give it the appearance of a snake head. It can also release nasty smelling chemical to ward off predators, just like Caterpie. Poliwag is another great example. The swirl on its belly is akin to a tadpole's intestines being seen on the outside. Dugtrio, one of the most ridiculous Pokemon, is actually based on naked mole rats. Often, these mole rats pile on top of each other to get above ground, and their faces look similar to Dugtrio. Still types exist in the real world too. There are Pokemon like the Ironclad Beetle that can be similar to Fortress or Heracross. This Beetle's exoskeleton is harder than steel. Sound familiar? The Ichnuman Wasp also has a stinger made of steel. Very similar to Pokemon like Beedrill with very strong stingers. Clotcher is based on the Pistol Shrimp, an animal that fires a shockwave hotter than the sun's surface to kill its prey. Tyrantrum, Aerodactyl, Bastion or Bastiodon, and the corresponding fossils are based on dinosaurs that once walked the earth. There are many Pokemon that can be easily seen similar to animals. Krabby, Spearow, Pidgey, Butterfree, Persian, Rhyhorn, Tauros. There are other Pokemon that are based on mythological creatures, such as Rapidash being similar to Unicorn, or Dragon types being similar to the mythological dragons of legend. Rock types like Golem are based on guardians of Golem of Egypt. There are even some Pokemon that were created by human influence. Mewtwo based on the clone sheep, Porygon based off software, and garbage Pokemon, Muck, Trubbish, and Coughing. Even plants like Vileplume mimic flowers, and Ferrothorn mimic thorns. Wherever you turn in our world, you can be sure to see an animal or something that may just look like a Pokemon. So the next time you're walking around or visiting the zoo, see how many Pokemon you can spot. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to take my daughter to the zoo. We need to see some sand dials, chatots, and pyroars. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and share. Got a theory burning in your mind? Drop it in the comment section below, or check out my Pokemon Theory playlist. I've been your host, Protomarium, and I am signing out. Good gaming, and God bless. I hope you enjoyed that video, and now time for a public service announcement. I'm Protomarium, leader of the Maverick Rebellion. Are you tired of giant YouTube partners never replying to any comments? Are you sick and tired of seeing large YouTube partners making great videos but never releasing any for weeks at a time? Are you tired of the mundane, continuous reality that keeps being pushed in your face? Copyrights, violations, videos being taken down on YouTube. Join the rebellion today and become a maverick where all of that will change for you. Just click the subscribe button, you'll be in great hands. I'm Proto Mario, and I approve this message. Mavericks unite. Please note that in all my videos, if I use images from Google, that I do not own any of those images, and all images attained from Google are owned by their respective owners and copyrights. So please remember this when watching my Pokemon theories. Thanks.